Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I thought I'd talk about the infamous padlock knife bypass. So this is um, a knife, this one's made by Peterson's, and essentially all it is, is a very thick piece of very strong steel, usually government steel or um, maxi yield steel, sharpened to a, a quite a nice point so you can dig into um, locking mechanisms and retract them. Now, this using a single knife, what you try to do is use the knife in the same way that the actuators at the back of the plug would be used to retract the pawl. So when you take a key and you put it into an unshielded padlock, we'll talk about that in a minute, you can see that the pegs at the back or the actuators at the back of the plug rotate and they are pushing the locking pawls that hold a shackle in either side apart. There you go, you can see it turning. So the locking poles have a spring between them which pushes them uh, both apart and you have to turn the plug to open the lock. It kind of makes sense. Now in a lot of very old locks you used to have only one locking pole usually on this side of the shackle and therefore it was quite easy if it was unshielded to go in uh, um, with the knife along the top of the pins so along the top of the pins here uh, angle it down and catch the part of the locking pole which the actuator at the back of the plug would enact on and you see this is an opening because you've got two how do I do it because you, you know you could undo one let go of it and then to try and get to the other one and then you find that it's just gone back into the shackle well you put on a small amount of tension onto the shackle you go in um, on top of the pins angle slightly down and retract that locking pole turn the knife over go down the pins and um, angle it down and then try to get hold of the, the mechanism at the other side which can be a little tricky and try to retract that too. So you're basically trying to uh, do it in two parts, go down one side, go under and retract that. Turn, then let's turn it over actually, then you can see. Then go down the other side, angle it down. Get that down, angle it down. So try and get under the um, mechanism at the other side not always easy so there we go that's one and that's two there we go and that's that's how it's done so you just need to apply some shackle tension now sometimes you need to apply quite a lot because um, these plastic padlocks are made with very 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 poor tolerances and they can um, you can usually do a, a bypass technique on them if you're going to you do anything with a brass padlock uh, one it's got to be unshielded and that means of course that you can get a knife all the way down through the core and you can manipulate the locking mechanism at the back so if you're going to do this on say a brass padlock it's got to be unshielded and uh, you're going to need to put a lot more force on the shackle to make sure that you stop the locking poles retracting back in as you go between them I do have a lock as it happens which can be pipe passed like this there's so few these days that can be that I actually think that this knife attack is somewhat um, irrelevant these days especially when the kind of locks which can be bypassed are usually really rubbish okay so you you know they, they're prone to so many different physical and picking attacks that um, it's, it's barely worth trying to do a relatively harder I think knife attack especially if it's a double pawl locking mechanism like this one is to its credits at least it has a double locking mechanism it might be easy to shim it or do a physical attack or or actually uh, rake and pick it um, so how am I going to apply some tension on well it isn't attached to a gate or a hasp or anything so what I'm going to do is just um, um, just put another padlock in which here and try to hold it in my hand and then push up with my thumb and finger to um, to put some shackle tension on. 
Now, what you'll find I'm doing with this one is I'm going to go in, put the knife in, and then wiggle it back and then forth, then turn it around and then back and forth, turn it around and then back and forth, and work those pulls apart. It's a bit harder than, um, like I said, a, a simple perspex lock, which doesn't really do a lot for you. So, heavy tension on. Go in, and you'll see that it, it isn't quite in. It needs to sort of wiggle into a uh, place there, it goes down a bit further, and then attention on, and what I do is I don't hold the knife here, you're going to snap it, hold it right here and manipulate it with your fingertips if possible. And then, um, yeah, you're just going to try and um, work the actuator mechanism back and forth at the back of the lock. And if you need to take it out, then go back in and then um, turn it around a bit, then do so. There we go, and we've got an open. But it does take a, a little bit of finesse. Now, I suppose this is a picking channel, so let's do some other attacks on this lock just while we're at it. I'm going to uh, just quickly show you that sometimes, you know what? <laughs> Doing knife attacks just aren't worth it, especially with these cheap, cheap rubbishy locks. I'm just going to uh, single pin pick it with this Beaton's gem. And um, just, there we go, that's open. That's pretty quick. And you can even, um, I think rake it, I've got city rake here, and this one can uh, can rake a lock like this um, pretty easily as well, I think. Um, so, very light tension, nice bit of uh, uh, light raking, and hopefully we'll get a, a little open. There we go. So, um, yeah, these 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 locks like this Peck Fix, they're they're just very 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 simple locks but they are fun if you ever want to try to do like a knife bypass on them because there are so few padlocks out there that you can do it on um that that it's actually a struggle to find them and it is just easier to pick and and rake them anyway i hope you find that interesting um like i said you might struggle to actually find a, a lock which isn't shielded um and when you do find them, you probably find it harder to bypass it than it is to pick it. But nevertheless, give it a go. It's another thing to try. It's another bit of fun. And um, I'll see you next time.